Hi guys, time to relax a little bit. It's evening and I have Anarchy installer in my virtual machine. Always fun playing with other distros in a virtual machine. VirtualBox by preference. Tap and E are both of them. If I am in the right window, voila, tap. Have a look, Linux, boot, VM Linux, Linux, okay. And we start reading what's in the code. And after a while, few years, right, you recognize the same things always over and over. And you also recognize the differences that we, well, we, that the distributions put behind it. So these three lines are lines coming from the Arch Linux Relang. And let's boot up. We're all suffering with this unknown parameter thing from Arch Linux. Anyway, select your install language. Oh yes, please, English. Enter. And then my misery. Even sure, leave default. So it's German by default. That's very nice. But I like other key maps. And I'll go to the B E B E B E B E Latin. That's the one I need. And then Anarchy is an installer for the Arch Linux distribution, not the distribution based on Arch. Because you're installing Arch, you can and should read the Arch wiki. Thank you. Good advice. Read, guys. Read, read, and read again. I know it's difficult, but trust me, after reading it five times, each time you get a sentence that you get. Each time you get something more. Same for me, right? There are pages on there that I say, what? Keep reading. It's the only thing I can say. Voila, there is the Anarchy Installer GitLab and all the rest. Okay, update Anarchy and start application. Sure. So, Anarchy updates. So, Arch Linux update. Download and rank mirrors. Always a good idea. Reflector is there as an application. It's gonna check. I'm in Belgium, Germany. UK, France, Netherlands. Okay, please select your desired locale. So that's my language. I want my desktop to be in English. Okay, where am I living? Where am I living? Still the same place, eh? Europe, check. Brussels, check. And then auto partition the drive, auto partition encrypted LVM, if you like to do that, right? It's here. Manual partition drive, I am a keep it simple and stupid kind of guy. So auto partition drive, go for it, my friends. SDA 30.5 gigabytes, select it. Yes, that's the one. I can choose between all these guys. Next forum. And then would you like to create a swap file? No. Would you like to use GPT? That's an important one. And I really don't know the answer. I did a copy paste from my clone template, which is standard bias. So I need to say no. Would you like to use GPT? No. So UFI guys use GPT. No, EFI, UFI, GPT. Older machines, bias, nice graphical logo when you would up. That's bias. EFI, black, four lines, five lines, no design, no colors. So no, we'll erase all the data. Who cares, right? Because it is a virtual machine. Right changes. It's gonna zap everything. Wow, zap is a really tough thing. I mean, it's a very strong thing. It's also on the arclinuxd.com phase seven, I think. The Arch Linux way, right? There are two lines in there that are really, really, erases everything and so that's that line anarchy desktop quick desktop install quick desktop lts so anarchy server you have to ask them what it is lts advanced manual selection again keep it simple and stupid what do we get with a quick desktop install 
we can choose between budgie salmon gnome open box xft4 i think i'm i'm in for open box okay how do you want to call it host name melody is fine root password very complex password never can guess that it's gonna encrypt it add or edit user accounts yes i th think root is in there already right if i do enter set username add user okay so that's me i'm still eric and my password is something very difficult okay enable pseudo privilege please otherwise i can't do pseudo pacman minus s why why you updating yes so now there are two guys then i'm done i'm doing all this with arrows eh? Le up left and right and all that done he's gonna update the packages well not update he's gonna get the databases and then four minutes that's interesting right that they can estimate 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 how long it's gonna take and it's coming from chaoticum.net there is base rxgtk theme yeah i love it base development and chromium is there cpu power the daemon dhcp is the how to get your ip addresses the dialog is for wireless if, if you need it grub is there so i'm reading the lines and starting to read the lego blocks and getting what's in there LibreOffice is there linux kernel of course linux firmware linux headers alex appearance obconf right open box configuration man pages thank you man database good network manager love it ntfs 39 g so for windows right personally choices i don't care i keep to linux all the time i don't have any ssds or hard disks that are formatted anymore ntfs i don't mix this thing out open box is there os prover shadow sudo system d tuner to full man and zip and vim virtual box is there vlc the wireless tools are there and the wpa supplicant so wpa supplicant wireless tools and dialog are the often the packages that you use for wireless and ZSH syntax highlighting and XORG, of course. Okay, go. Did I see an editor? Any kind of editor? Can't say that I did. What I do like is the, the look, right? The cleanness of the, all the scripts the colors the fonts the, it's so slick that's the word it's so a finished product and as they say it's still arch it is an installer it gives you choices and if you choose it executes those choices Right, the three four lines in the middle right when you first download everything and then four lines of checking and then it goes for installing gcc maybe we can see something about an editor smb was there too labor office yeah that's the big one linux linux firmware Still GTK2, yeah, maybe for open box. So, VLC was there. Cool. Everything to play, any kind of video.
set of commands and a grub, nice grub install automatically and the configuration and making it CPIO. This is normally not necessary. If we do the Arch Linux installation, that's what I suppose is to be safe, right? I would do the same. Brussels, and voila, network enabled, Freebox is enabled. Cool. Oops, it was something strange. A quick and done. <laughs> Password groups, user ads, password. I am part of the system that you see. Wheel, Eric. I can do sudo pacman minus s. What would you like to do now? Hmm. I can shoot in this thing. Return to the command prompt. Add new user accounts. Reboot system. Eh? Boot into existing OS. I explained this two times this week to users. If you are in VirtualBox and you try it out and you don't eject the ISO, you'll boot again into the virtual environment, the, the, the ISO, right? So these are all the ISOs. You need to go down and say boot existing OS. Then you're into whatever you created, whatever you installed. All right. I guess I need to do some some work. Let's see. Um, sudo pacman minus s lightm. Did we install lightm? No, I guess not. Sudo pacman minus s sem. Either. So let's install something that greets us. Maybe there was a selection gone wrong. There was an error there, right? Remember, sudo pacman minus s. Oh, sorry, we've done that. System CTL. Whoa, yeah, system CTL enable SDM sudo reboot. Ah, a bit longer. Sudo reboot. So we've got open box check. That's a pity. And then we have a box, I guess. This is the version of open box. Kind of looks uh, like XSE. <laughs> um, yeah. Bit strange. I thought I selected open box. Will be my mistake, I'm sure. But here we have our darker, our dark icon themes. There's not much to look at. Let's take elementary then. Mouse cursor. Apply. This border is always strange. I've always found this strange. In XFCE, we have to go to. Oh, where am I? At? I have to go to system, no settings, yes. So custom look and feel is not there. We need to go to Windows. Was it here then? Don't see it. Advanced networking, desktop, no file manager, open box configuration. Hmm. It is strange, right? It says open box configuration. So you know, Pacman, wow, keyboard set the E, so you know, Pacman minus remove, open box, open box is there. Is up to date. So the list of the user share X sessions is open box desktop and KDE. Where is my XFCE? 
<laughs> what is all this? What is that doing there? unsure what happened to the system but um, it is strange you would expect as you log out which I can't I can't log out why can I not log out That is indeed open box configuration manager. Seems parts of GPK application. Never heard of GPK application. Don't know what that is. Seems I have parts of the system and other parts I don't have. Four settings. Let's see. We're missing all the settings for XFC4. And that's going to be a more, that's the same thing. I want something else. I want something else. The settings manager. Voila, now we've got an overview of things. And I'm still missing lots of applications here <laughs> I can't log out so pickle xfc4 boom come on kick in already No. Control R, right? Control R, resetting the virtual machine from scratch. Let's boot up again. Now I have open box. But it's strange. Why does it say open box? And when I log in, I get this. That's totally unclear to me. Stopping the video here.